God bless you in grace and peace, beloved. This is Bishop. Workout time. <laughs> Torture time. <laughs> Just finished my first <clears throat> of my 150 push-ups and uh, got 100 knocked out and get ready to get on pedal time. Me and pedal time have regular appointments three days a week. If I feel like it, a fourth day. But I do other things as well. But hey, this is day 16 of our 40 day life building uh, devotional commentary. I pray that you've been blessed. I pray that day 15 was a tremendous blessing to you. And uh, sometimes you do get tired of fighting, but you can't quit. Every fighter gets tired, but you can't quit. Every fighter gets tired, but you can't quit. Every tired fighter wants to throw in the towel, but you can't. God's with you, so he throws it back. <laughs> <laughs> he's your corner man. He's your coach. He's your sovereign God. And he'll throw that towel back in a heartbeat, I'm telling you. Because he knows the end result is greater than your trial. Hey, today is day 16, and it's all about the love. It's all about the love. Hear me. As believers, our love walk must be protected like the company payroll <laughs> in an armored bank truck. In order to be effective and have impact, all and everything we do must be out of our love walk for the Lord and our love for the Lord. Love is the act of self-denial for the purpose of making the condition of another better. Hear this. Love is a sacrifice of personal agenda and comfort in order to assure the welfare of another. Hmm. That sounds good. Love is all about the action, the attitude, and then the deed. Love is never given with conditions attached. Love is not of some type of uh, strings attached or benefits or beneficence that I'm going to withhold because you don't give me what I want. Love is, love acts. Love manifests, love conquers, love outlasts, and love is God. Remember those love scriptures we've been reading? Some of them we were heard to, some of them we actually read. Real quick, look at John 3.16. You know that, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only, he gave his only, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Then we saw Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Now, I know you read that. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Wow. Remember that? Here's a new one. John 14, 12 and 13. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Love walk. It is so important that you operate out of a love walk. We have nothing if we don't have our love walk intact. As a believer, your love walk is so vital because it validates your testimony. It validates everything you say out of your mouth and every Christianese thing you can ever do in your life. How you like that word, Christianese? If you don't have any love, beloved, you, you are irrelevant. You have made yourself of no impact. A lack of love minimizes everything you stand for. It makes you a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. Back in the day as I was growing up, I remember quoting 1 Corinthians 13, and I used to say, sounding brass and a tinkling simple. <laughs> I think it all relates. Because, beloved, when you put yourself in a position that your love walk is compromised and you're full of anger, hatred, bitterness, strife, you won't let stuff go. You're always bringing up the past and who did what to you and who don't like you and who don't want nothing to do with you and 
They may be dead and gone. They may have gone on with their lives. You may, in fact, be doing better than them when you measure up. But yet you can't be in a posture to let that go. Let them go. Let stuff go and have a love walk second to none. Now, this is the thing we have to realize that this is what we compete in as the body of Christ. We outlove one another. Hear me. Don't turn me off. We outlove one another. I know that many of you that know me know that one of my favorite phrases is, I love you more than you love me. And people over the years have adopted that, stole it from me, tried to beat me saying it, and they all lose because I'm not going to let you out love me. Just not. Listen, if there's anything we should compete about is out loving one another. So I'll come up with another statement. I love you most much more to life. You know, so, you know, I'm going to top you. You keep on trying out love me. It ain't going to work. I understand I got to walk in love. You know, there's some raunchy stuff, some rocket stuff, some ratchet stuff that's happened to me in my life. And um, if I sit up here and name everything and everybody, you know, I'll be here for a minute. Not because I'm a victim. It's just, you know, part of the walk. The enemy throws stuff at you. Heavy is the head to wear the crown. All those colloquialisms that we could talk about. All those quippy statements that we can make. The fact of the matter is there's something great about you that the enemy wants to interrupt, destroy, sideline, detour, and your love walk is so vital to getting the best of God activated in your life, in every area of your life. Beloved, what I'm trying to tell you is your love walk is vital. And this is the day that we understand it's all about the love. I need you to do something for yourself. I need you to ask God to help you. It's not how much you love God because, you know, a lot of us think we got that down. I love you, Lord. I love you. I love you. I love you. And uh, we can walk this walk thinking that we love God and we love him better than everybody else. <laughs> but that's not the case. We don't compete with loving God better than anybody else. We compete without loving each other. Can you imagine if everybody took up that as a competition, trying to outlove each other, how great this would be? And even not looking at it as a hostile thing, just doing it, just loving. Now, it's nothing sexual, it's nothing inordinate, it's just seeking the best for somebody, seeking their absolute best in every area of their life. You have the ability to do that. You have to make a decision to do it. And that decision starts today because it's all about the love. It's all about the love. It's all about the love. So today is a day to ask God to search your heart. Take out all bitterness, past mess, stuff you won't let go. Give it to him today. You don't have time for foolishness. This is day 16. It's all about the love. Let's go. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Nothing else to say. Do it. Seriously, do it. Because it's all about the love.